this is uh, this is Tinsley Salty Bandon Salty Quickie. I have a YouTube channel, by the okay. way. What's your name? Uh, Richard. Richard. Everybody calls me Mohawk in the motorcycle world. Mohawk. Yep. Okay, and this is your boat. What kind of boat is it? It is a forty-one foot Freeport Islander. Okay, I got a lot of boat people that watch. A lot of sailors. Okay. okay so I have a sailing channel. She don't tack very good, but I've come up with an idea to make that happen. But that's for later. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I was out and I had done got caught in a couple storms. Yeah. Uh, one tattered my main sail, but I started watching the storms and seeing how they run. Yeah. And I, I was watching the rain kind of push out to one side and assuming that that's the way the wind was blowing. Right. But what it was was a water spout because it was bailing the rain out to each side of it. Right. It kept trying to pull me into it. So I turned to run along the face of it and I caught some really good wind. They had a fifth sail that's along with the boat. I clipped it onto the bow and onto the stern like and I pulled spinnaker. it up. Yeah. yeah. Um, Kind of homemade rig. Okay. Well, yeah, I see. What <laughs> but you're I, when when I pulled her up, she said, "Poof." Ah, uh, see, and that's I, why I'm scared. I was, to I was catching her by myself. It's a really, really good win. Well, I was by myself. It's yeah. Not, it's awesome. There's nothing but me in nature. Yeah, I know. Uh, I mean, I sail by myself, but I'm scared to use a spinnaker by myself. Okay. Well, <laughs> you, could, you go with what you feel. Cause yeah. If you feel this morning you can handle, I will, I'll, I'll eventually, I think okay. I'll be all right. But I've taken the boat three times to the Keys by myself. Awesome. So, yeah. yeah. I'm about to do it again. Yeah. Well, so, I, was, I was anchored up about 100 yards out, and uh, there was a storm that came in that Tuesday, and I waited through the storm. It ended about 10 o'clock. At about 10.30, uh, my sister-in-law had come down, and she, she took me back to the house in Bruton. Right. And I was there for about a whole hour before they called me and told me my ship was the shore. All I can say is I didn't have an anchor when I got back. But you got one out there now. Oh, yeah. So he's got the anchor out. He's, what did, he just said that it was yeah, all the way right here where the anchor. shovel is. Yes. So you got another anchor on the shore. shore. Okay. But, but when so, I winched myself out, I had an anchor. This thing I had back behind me. And, How long is it, it taking you to get it out to there? Three weeks. Three weeks. Oh, two. About well, two and a half weeks. Yes, sir. To go from here to there. And I was I was almost free last Wednesday. And, um, well, so, it was basically about two weeks in a day. I got out to that point right there. So the Coast Guard's going to let you give give you as much time as you need. Of oh, the city. The city. Yeah, the, the city Coast of Orange Beach. Really, you got nothing to do with it right here. Okay. But, uh, and, the, and the people of Orange Beach have been more than Really. They, they have been the whole community. What can people do to help? Pray. Pray, okay. All the uh, salty there, abandoned a, followers, pray for this man. Pray for Richard and his boat, and it's called Stone Soup. And there's a website set up for Stone Soup. It's a Stone Soup, a.k.a. Ghost Ship. Okay. And I think my sister-in-law had started a GoFundMe account on there. If All you, right. If you have something you want to donate, that would be what great. What are you going to do when you get it out? I'm going to sail it off here, I hope. Where are you going to go? Up to Mobile, down to the Dog River. I'm not going on a long journey right now. I've got a lot of work to do. Okay. <laughs> Did you just buy it? A couple months ago, yeah. Okay, so you're gonna do some so, work, and so then I've been out on it, finding the bugs in it. Right. And uh, now I've created a couple more. <laughs> <laughs> you said you were gonna redo the galley anyway. Right. right. <laughs> so you got some water in there right now. Yes. So say the the website again, where they can go do the GoFundMe. It's Stone Soup, aka Ghost Ship. Okay. And uh, there's a GoFundMe account. Yes. All right. A attached to it. I, I I don't know how to do all that. So. Yeah, uh, your so. sister-in-law, your sister yeah, set it up. Yes. Okay. Who's your sister-in-law? Elizabeth Hancock. Okay, does she live here? Uh, she lives in Brooklyn. Okay. Uh, she's she's normally right. down here with me, but she had to go back to work, so. Yeah, I gotta work yeah. sometime, right. I understand. Yeah. <laughs> well, okay, so we wish you luck. When you do get it all done, what's your long trip gonna be? Grind Scotland. Seriously? Seriously, I've, I've been doing my ancestral research. Yeah. And it's in 1322, my family came from Grange. And I've so been, I've been to Scotland. I want to set foot on Grange, Scotland. Just, wow, and you're that, going that sailor. That may be my last resting place. I don't know, so, but I've got to go there. Are you living on the boat now? Uh, not right now. Not right this <laughs> second, but up, up into that point, yeah. Okay. Up until last Wednesday. I'm so this is your home too. Yeah, it's more than just about. I I've got, I've got like 20 years of stuff in there. Oh man. I guess we're clean. <laughs> yeah. We're letting go of stuff we don't need. That's right. So. All right, Richard, we're, we're all praying for you. Thank you very and, much. And uh, this will go out to a lot of people. So thanks a lot. Thanks.